Hello everyone, Sigler here, uh, Bork, uh, Chef, whatever you like to call me. Today I'm going to show you, um, not the route actually, but like the way that I'm planning to play my main for phase 2, which is going to be the Tank Warlock. Uh, I've been debating between the like Warrior and Warlock, but it feels like, like sure, Warriors are going to be extremely broken, but for me, it feels like Warlock is going to be the better choice for me specifically with the playstyle that we most likely are going to be playing. And yeah, I'm just going to show you like the the talent points and everything that I'm going to go with uh, for each level all the way up to 40. And uh, my plan is to dungeon grind a lot because we need the like pre base and like there's upgrades in the dungeons. So yeah, I'm gonna just gonna show you that. So let's start off with where the hell is it? There it is. So first off, we're gonna go with improved shadow bolt because I'm gonna go with uh, destruction spec. I think that that there is a lot of people that is gonna go with demonology, but it feels like we we have the gear, so it shouldn't be a problem to just uh, do damage. And if you feel that we're taking too much damage, we can change the runes to more self-healing anyway. So I feel pretty confident that we're, we can be uh, demonology because of uh, specific reasons. And I'm going to show you why. So the reason I'm going to take uh, improved Shadow Bolt is because you get the Shadow Cleave thing where you will be able to hit uh, up to three... I think, let's check, I think it is three, yeah, three nearby enemies with the Shadow Lash. So, and then we have a chance to, to gain like a stack so we can, uh, yeah, just in increase our threat, basically. And then we're going to select this one, uh, because I don't feel we're going to need the, the destruction uh, like mana cost reduction I don't think we need that because we can life tap and everything so it's no problem and the days we don't really need that in dungeons because we're gonna tank them anyway uh, depending on if we are in a like spell cleave or something like that but if we're in spell cleave there's gonna be frozen they're gonna be frozen anyway all the time so uh, I don't think that's gonna be a problem so I'm gonna take Bane just because if we're out, like if we're gonna play DPS, you have the reduced uh, Shadow Bolt, Immolate, and everything. After that, I'm gonna go with Improved uh, Fire Bolt because I'm gonna use my Imp, and uh, so it's gonna be like a yeah, like if I'm questing or done uh, like grinding on my own, uh, it's like a machine gun pretty much. Like it's it has like a one second cool uh, cast time depending on the rank on them, of course. But after that, I'm going to go with Devastation, just for the increased critical strike chance. And after that, uh, so like this is actually going to be the one that I'm going to start with. And the reason is because I want to have intensity on two ranks. So once I'm 26, I'm going to max this one. Just because I want to be able to, to AOE with Reign of Fire, which I'm going to explain later more of because 70 percent is quite a lot and i don't think we're gonna pull more than four or five at a time so i can just recast it if i'm interrupted so it's just for threat after that we're gonna go back to devastation because we want the ruin for later so i'm gonna go with devastation and after that i'm gonna go with, you can go with shadow burn but it, I don't feel I don't feel like we need it actually. Like it's a good opener on bosses, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem because we threat so much with searing pain anyway. So we're gonna go one improved ser uh, searing pain, and after that we go with ruin. One in ruin, and after that we go into pyr uh, pyroclasm or whatever, because if we sp if we're gonna AOE. 26% is quite a big chance. It's like one in four hits. And if you're AOEing like five, like at least, well, percentage wise, like we should 
we should be able to have one stun at all times. So in three seconds, that's quite a lot. So, and it actually works as an interrupter on spellcasters as well. So you have a chance to interrupt them, which is nice. After that, we're going back to Searing Pain because the thing is, Conflag, like, that's for level 40, so we're gonna respect anyway, most likely. So, and we're not casting Emulate <clears throat> with the way I'm playing. So, and I'm gonna go back into improved, improved Searing Pain because we are gonna spam that anyway uh, for solo level. Uh, if we have like two or three left, I can just tab between them and use my scroll macro to keep spamming on them for damage and for threat. So I'm gonna go back into Searing Pain. And once I have enough, I'm gonna go down here because then we're gonna make like this all the way to 39 and after that we're gonna be 40 so it doesn't really matter the last one so then you can respec but that's the way i'm gonna play it, it i haven't said that it's gonna be the best one but it's the way i'm gonna play and if i f see like some updates or anything that affliction or demonology is like way better i will most likely respec but by the looks of it, this is the, my plan at least. And then for the runes, uh, hands is obviously the metamorph because I want to tank since that is my like bread and butter, the way I want to play it. So we're gonna go with that. And then with the uh, chest, we're gonna have Lake of Fire. If we have a healer that feels confident in healing me, if not, I'm going to use Master Chandler uh, just to help a bit on the self-healing. Um, but like with the Lake of Fire, Rain of Fire, which is going to be my uh, like our AOE, um, along with the pushback and the Paraclysm for the stun, is going to be very nice because if you read on it, Rain of Fire leaves a lake of flame on the ground that increases all fire damage you deal and your demon pet deals um, to afflicted enemy buff 40%. And that's the reason why we want the imp with this one also, because that's 40% increased damage from the pet, and the pet is using Firebolt, which is fire damage, which increases its damage even more. So that's why I'm gonna use Lake of Fire. Moving on to the legs. Um, I don't have Demonic Pact. You could choose that if you have it, but I've been a bit lazy with the Dark Iron stuff. And uh, yeah, it's been very costly and I will try to get it later. But you could go with Demonic Grace, but it feels like it's such a long cooldown and it's only up for six seconds. So we're gonna go with uh, Incinerate because then on Pulse, I can start with this one just only to get the increased fire damage you deal by 25% for 15 seconds. So that's increasing like there, like these two together are so good because then you start with Incinerate and then you Lake of Fire because then you have the 25% more damage on your Lake of Fire, and then Lake of Fire is also dealing way more damage. And we are Flame, so hopefully, if my plan works, this is gonna be a very good threat build, so to speak. Um, I am not sure if like we will uh, unlock something on the way to 40, like another rune. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's the feet and the waist that we are gonna be able to get, get. So I would love for us to get Shadow and Flame because then we deal even like 10% uh, more damage with fire uh, if we critical strike because we have the improved Searing Pain all the time and we have the increased critical strike so hopefully we're gonna be able to get that one that would be freaking awesome so if we get it we will choose that one uh, otherwise like I would take whatever um, so yeah 
And I think feet is the second one. And hopefully, I'd like to my, I like I'm hoping really much that we're gonna have the dance of the wicked, because then we if we crit, which we're gonna do way more now, um, we can get uh, more dodge and also get mana back. Which if we get if we get mana back, we don't have to life tap as much because uh, with this spec, the life tap is not gonna be as powerful. Uh, is it like twenty percent less? Yeah, twenty percent less mana back, which is like you you will notice the difference if you're used to it. But I'm 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 pretty convinced with this, uh, confident with this build. So yeah, I hope most likely we'll get this one because if we get it, uh, the two percent could be quite a lot because we could crit a lot, which could maybe not, but like it wouldn't be as good as life tap but if our plan works we could get mana back without sacrificing our health which would be awesome and yeah that is like my my build that i'm gonna go with so let's do it again we have improved chatterbolt we have the bane because it feels like it's the best one then we go improved frost firebolt just for the imp and then we're choosing the Devastate. We go down to in Intensity. Then we go into Devastation again. And then one Searing Pain. We get Ruin. And then we get Par Pyroclysm. And then we get into... And th by that point we're going to be level uh, 32. And then we're, I'm going to go back into Improved Searing Pain. Or, uh, until I can cast uh, use this one so you could go like improved searing pain even more if we get the the uh, dance of the wicked which would like technically have a bigger chance to give us more mana but yeah I think that the fire damage is gonna be way more because of AoE and everything like this is everything this is just the searing pain but this is the way I'm gonna go and then like that and then we're gonna be level 40 and here's the rune and the plan like this one and this one would be freaking awesome so yeah that is my plan the way i'm gonna level um uh, i'm gonna wish you everyone a good luck with this face i'm really looking forward to it i personally uh haven't done I think I've done a few pre-quests, but I'm gonna grind, like, just gold grind, EXP grind, and do dungeons. So I'm not gonna do anything specific, but I'm I'll make videos on the way to 40 if I found find any good spots with nice EXP per hour and yeah stuff like that. So I hope I see you in the next video in the future future. Bork bork and good luck.